The stars have arrived in Columbus. The captain of the Anaheim Ducks, Ryan Getzlaff, and his family. The captain in Tampa, Steven Stamkos, taking photographs with the fans in Columbus. The leading goal scorer for the LA Kings, Andre Kopitar, and his family getting their way to the convention center. And Jake Voracek, as the stars have aligned in Columbus. The All-Stars have arrived in Columbus, Ohio. Moves in, beat and scores! What a play by Steven Stamkos. He shoots, he scores! Patrick Kane scores! Kessel slaps it home! But the teams have yet to be picked. It will be up to these two captains to separate the group. It's the captain, Jonathan Kane! Scores! Nick Foligno! To choose friend or adversary. This one's my pick. It'll give everyone a good chance to really boo here. Phil Kessel. It's nice to have my uh, teammate at my back up here. Teammate or countryman? We're extremely proud to pick Eric Carlson. In a room full of stars, one will shine brightest as the first player chosen, while one will be left as the last man standing. It's the third NHL All-Star Game Player Fantasy Draft, and it starts now. City of Columbus and the Columbus Blue Jackets hosting the NHL All-Star Weekend for the very first time as the stars, the biggest and brightest ones in the National Hockey League, have come together here in this great city in Columbus. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 2015 NHL Fantasy All-Star Draft. What a crowd we have here at the Convention Center in downtown Columbus. I'm Catherine Tappan. Happy to have you all with us. And I'm Darren Millard. You know, Players are creatures of habit, Catherine. They know when they're going to play. They know who they're going to play against. They usually know who they're going to line up with on the ice. That is not the case because only six players arrived in Columbus knowing which team they were going to play for. The rest are assignable. And those captains and alternates all have teammates back there waiting to be picked. So what do you do? Do you take your buddy or do you go in a different direction? That latter part <laughs> we'll has caused out. some tensions in the previous two uh, fantasy drafts. Lots of tension, lots of nerves, lots of anticipation for this. A sparkling Honda Accord to my right that will be handed out at the end of the night. But of course, let's get right to it. We have two captains to introduce you to. And first, it is the captain of the opposing, the away team. Yep. It's Jonathan Taves. He's the captain of the Chicago Blackhawks, and he is captain of Team Taves here this weekend. Jonathan Taves in his eighth NHL season. He is the third leading vote getter in the National Hockey League for the All-Star Game. A two-time Stanley Cup champ. Jonathan, what the heck was with all the booze there? Well, that's uh, kind of what we're going to expect for the rest of the weekend. So we're taking on that role and we're, we're proud of it. It's your third All-Star Game, but of course this is your first time. You talk about roles as the role of captain. So do you have a strategy coming into this night? Well, I've been talking with uh, Ryan Getzlaff and Rick Nash for the last 20 minutes, and uh, you know I think we're going with, with uh, the no strategy strategy right now. 20 we'll minutes. Goes. You're putting a lot into that. Yeah, a little too much, maybe. <laughs> well, the Chicago Blackhawks had five of the top six NHL vote getters for the All Star Game here this weekend. What does that tell you about your fans in Chicago? Well, we got great fans. It's an ama amazing city and uh, a great organization. But uh, the five of us are, are great. Uh, very appreciative and very happy to be here in Columbus. Uh, used to come here a lot uh, when we were in the same division, so it should be a lot of fun, uh, a lot of fun this weekend. A lot of great fans here in Columbus as well. All right, well, we're going to get the fun started. We're going to have you go to the podium right over there. Take your mark at your laptop to get busy. And uh, who else is on deck for the captains? The captain of the home team from the Columbus Blue Jackets, Nick Foligno. That C looks pretty good. Yeah, it feels good, feels good. So you're a first-time All-Star, and they also make you pick the team. No sliding through this weekend. Yeah, they just wanted to put all the pressure on me all at once here, so I'm, uh, I'm taking it in stride. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. Now, are you a guy that plays a lot of fantasy sports? 
Not really, to be honest with you. So uh, this will be pretty interesting. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delegate to a lot of my assistants on this one. Have you put more than 20 minutes in that Jonathan Taves has researched? I think I put about 21. So is that, is that good? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I'm feeling good about our chances here. Well, congratulations. Uh, look forward to the night and have some fun, okay? Send you over to the podium. There's All the captain of Team Felino. Already some trash talking here. Yeah. He's got 21 minutes. Taze has 20. Well, they're not alone up there on the podium. Both captains will be flanked by their assistant captains. And we begin with Team Taves. And we introduce you to the captain of the Anaheim Ducks, Ryan Getzlaff. He will be an alternate captain for Team Taves. Ryan Getzlaff is in his 10th NHL season, third All-Star appearance. This season, he leads the team in assists and points. And of course, he won the Stanley Cup back in 2007. And a familiar name here in Columbus. Curious to see what happens here when we bring out the other alternate captain, Rick Nash of the New York Rangers. That's the response. Rick Nash played nine seasons here in Columbus. He now is with the New York Rangers in the Big Apple, and he has 28 goals on the season. That ties with Tyler Sagan, who is also here tonight, for the most goals in the National Hockey League. So, some big stars on the stage, and more to come. Assisting Nick Foligno from the Chicago Blackhawks, his second time around as an alternate captain at the Fantasy Draft, Patrick Kane. Patrick, by the way, was drafted first overall in Columbus back in 2007, and you've got two Blackhawks on alternate sides. Uh, are you messing up his hair over there? Is that what you're doing? Rounding out Team Felino from the Los Angeles Kings, Drew Dowdy. <laughs> Drew Dowdy, two-time Stanley Cup champion, two-time Olympian, and yet that is his first time at the All-Star Game, well-deserved. <laughs> All right, so lots to get to tonight, including a lot of action backstage where probably most of the trash talking is going on. That's where we find Pierre Maguire. Hey, Pierre. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Darren. All right, you're familiar with going first overall 2006 with Sarnia, first overall in the Ontario Hockey League draft, first overall in the 2008 NHL draft. What's it like to go first overall? <laughs> it's, it's good. It's bragging rights. Uh, you always want to be the best at what you do, so I've been for fortunate to have that experience before and uh, look forward to have some fun tonight. Your general manager in Tampa, Steve Eiserman, knows a lot about team building. If you were building a team for the All-Star game, what would you be looking to do? Ooh, I think you need a good goaltender. You got a lot of good players out there. You need someone that can stop the puck. We, I know we got a lot of good goaltenders here tonight, so uh, we'll see how it goes down. Have a blast this weekend, Stephen. Thank you. Catherine, Darren, back to you. All right, Pierre, so Steven Stamkos would take a goaltender. Guess what? All of you can get involved at home, here in the audience. The players can get involved backstage. We want to know who you think is going to go number one overall here at the Fantasy Draft. Go to NBCSports.com slash vote. Here are your choices. Alex Ovechkin, Steven Stamkos, Claude Giroux, or Carey Price. Let your voice be known. We'll find out what the answer is right after the break.